Dr. Swami, uh, I mean, Israel and Turkey have re-emerged as a key negotiator in this whole war. Do you think that India should have also taken this kind of a similar stand? How can to you establish you see, India power? is too big to be a negotiator. Hmm. Uh, India, uh, India either has the military power to say, stop it, or if we supposing had said, stop it or we will side with uh, Ukraine, hmm. then uh, India could be a party. Hmm. Yes. Uh, we can't today say that we'll, uh, uh, we will uh, try to work out between Ukraine and Russia. Hmm. What is there to do? As far as uh, Israel and, uh, the, uh, and Turkey is concerned, they are only providing the venue for talks. Yes. There's no need for them all to come here. Hmm. And the maximum, uh, you see, Turkey is practically part of Europe. Yes. So for uh, Ukraine to come there is no problem. Russia to come there is no hmm. problem. Israel is also just next door. Yes. And uh, therefore, they can play a role. Hmm. But what role can we play sitting so far away hmm. unless we are a world power and we had stakes? Hmm. We can make a difference to the war. We can make the Russians lose and... Uh, uh, Ukrainians to win that kind of position is there then we can say stop this nonsense I'm ready to help you hmm. uh, come to a solution Ukraine has always been pro-Pakistani I want I, I, that is propaganda and we are victims to it show hmm. me what they have I have um, a uh, 2020 uh, paper before hmm. this war uh, which were some uh, some uh, the the external affairs ministry has bring out a four four page note on uh, on Ukraine and it's all praise hmm. in it. Uh, you please ac uh, access that and you will see how much praise. There's never been a hostile act. Now, if they have taken a particular stand on the atom bomb, hmm. so did the United States, so yes. did the UK. Almost all the people whom we carry favor with today. Hmm. They have all been against our uh, exploding nuclear weapons. So, Dr. Swami, you are saying that Soviet Union was basically an ally or... Yes. Okay, but not the Russian Federation. How can it be? There's no, uh, they are not an inheritor of, uh, hmm. uh, of, of uh, Soviet Union. Yes. Soviet Union broke into 16 countries. Hmm. And it's one of the 16 countries, the largest part, of course. But yes. the second largest part is Ukraine. Ukraine yes. And... Uh, and since 1992, tell me one thing the Russians have done. They have sold you weapons, but you have paid market price for it. Hmm. The Americans are ready to sell you weapons too, if you pay the market yes. price. Uh, it may be higher, but then the quality of the American weapons is much superior. So, I, I think these are where people are, you know, just ideas are planted where people don't have to reason themselves and then... Hmm. Repeat it like parrots. That's all is happening. Dr. Swami, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov is yes, coming, coming to New Delhi on the 31st May. And yes. on the very same day, UK Foreign Secretary is also coming to New Delhi. Ah, on, for, on, first, on 1st of April, uh, Lavrov will have uh, meet Indian delegates. Yes. Uh, how do you see Let this? him meet anyone. We have no problem. It's a democracy. Hmm. But the question is, um, what is it that India can do? Hmm. I mean, there's no role for India at all. We are nowhere in Ukraine. Hmm. And whatever Ukraine wants is by bits and pieces they're getting from the Western uh, Western powers. Yes. The NATO powers, so to speak. And as far as Russia is concerned, there's nothing we can give them. Hmm. Except legitimacy in what they're doing. Which so is all do, that they don't you from. think that our policy or our, or our stand will get altered in the coming days in case if the pressure uh, from the Russians not not from the Russians from the West because Biden just few days back said that Indians India's position is a bit shaky yeah yes, but I but don't the think White House I, clarified I, the very I, next I, I think uh, the American in influence in India is much weaker than the Russians than the Russians and also the Chinese yes they have a uh, hold on some of our leaders, which the Americans don't have. Could you please name some of those leaders? Yeah, there, there are. Um, um, I can't name names. Hmm. Then, <laughs> uh, 
you will be in trouble. Yes. I won't be in trouble. I'll manage. I can. <laughs> I fought uh, more than 200 cases, uh, defamation yes. cases, won all of them. But uh, for you, it will be difficult. But uh, I would say that uh, many of our political leaders, Any specific and that party? includes, no, they're all of them. Russia, uh, Congress is, uh, on Russia, it's, uh, Congress has been uh, compromised for a long time. Yes. There are books which have come out which show that Congress, prominent Congress, Congress leaders were taking money from KGB. Hmm. Uh, so, um, that compromise, uh, most of our leaders are compromised. There may be American influence at a much lower level because the Americans have, don't have that kind of high priority to win over hmm. uh, our leaders because they, they don't think that uh, any of them can play a role to change the present uh, proximity of India to, to Russia. Hmm. Dr. Sami, just coming to the question on Pakistan, you must be seeing the kind of developments that are going on in Islamabad. <laughs> I predicted it. Yes. Please go to see my tweet. Okay. Ah, but one year ago, I said that this guy is gone. He's going to be replaced by Nawaz Sharif's younger brother. Sir, if they go, then does the Bharat and Pakistan relationship come to the relationship? No, yeah, the only time uh, we can have peace is if the military is in power in directly in power in Pakistan. Hmm. And that's not a guarantee. But if there can be peace between India and Pakistan, hmm. it's only if the military is in power. But then the military has compulsion and sometimes they can go to war. Yes. So I can't say there won't be a war. There can be a war. Hmm. But I, as far as present uh, pol as politicians in Pakistan is concerned, hmm. they are uh, uh, puppets of the army. Yes. And the army makes them dance. They are not able to have any relationship which is stable because the ISI has got some uh, plans about India and, uh, and, and you know, separating Kashmir and so on. So the uh, civilians are just a kind of, a, a, you know, a parda for whatever they are doing. Hmm. But if their military is in power, then you have to they have to deal directly with us. Yes. And that is therefore much tougher to play a double role. 